Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Building Aquarium Workshop and today we just got in a shipment from Coral Kingdom in South Florida. So we just got the box in, we're gonna open it up and look at some zoanthids uh, and pallies that I ordered a couple days ago. And uh, we had them overnighted, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and check them out and we will put them in this uh, 40 gallon show tank. All right, so we just took the top off and uh, looks like we got the heat pack is still warm. And this is how Coral Kingdom packaged them. <clears throat> so, so far looks really, really good. We just got some. Okay, cool. So here we go. So they're in the styrofoam container and they come in, which I thought was unique because a lot of places don't ship like this, but these came like this and supposedly, uh, which will, it's hard to see right now, but in the bag in each container um i can see right there okay so i put them so that they really don't flip flop around so yeah so we'll go ahead and open these up and we'll get them floating okay so we just put them into float and you can see um like on this one they're right side up it's supposed to be right side up looks like a couple flipped over like that i'm not really concerned they're zoanthids uh one of them's a pally colony the rest of them are all the other three are zoanthids and so um, I'm sure they will be just fine. Uh, they're very, very durable as long as they're just covered in water. So I like these containers. They're pretty cool. You can see these containers. That's how they came. And they just, I just put them right in there. They just float. I'll be opening them up pretty soon. Our acclimation process, it'll probably take, it'll probably take about 30 minutes at least, maybe 45 minutes at the most. And I'll trick out some of their, I'll take some of their water out of the container. They're pretty full. And then start trickling it in my water. And of course, then I'll just grab them out um, by hand. With Zoanthus, you can just grab them out. You don't have to worry about um, whether they touch the air. I'll just quickly take them out of the container you'll see and put them in the tank and just find a nice spot for them. Probably a low level lighting in the beginning and low low flow level. And uh, then we can tell you what we got. Um, where we have been floating are uh, new corals and uh, this one's open already. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is the utter, I could tell this is the utter chaos pellies. And when, you know, unfortunately only our blue lights are on. When the other lights come on, uh, man, you're gonna see uh, what these uh, what these look like. So you can't really see them much there under the light. They look amazing though. Um, but before we put them in, okay, we wanted to talk to you about always dipping your corals, okay, before you put them into your tank. So what we did is we got a plastic container right here, and we took out some of our water, and we're gonna go ahead and this is a reef dip uh, by Seachem. Um, there are different brands. Uh, this one tells you, if you take out a gallon of water, it tells you to go ahead and use one to two capfuls. Uh, now this is probably only a quarter, so we're going to do a quarter of a capful in there. Uh, and that should be enough because we only have four small uh, coral frags to put in there. Ready to go right there. We're just going to put the, the uh, quarter capful of this Seachem Reef Dip. And then we're going to start grabbing these corals and dipping them. Okay, so just shake this up a little. And we're just going to undo it. Be careful with the reef dip. Um, it's very staining. Okay, as you can see, um, like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pour a little bit in here. Don't use it all that often. Just when you get new corals in, moving corals around. And so we got maybe, that's probably half a cap full. Okay, so a quarter of a cap full. We're going to throw that in there. You can see it's turning like a, like a tea almost. Gotta be careful, otherwise, you know, we'll be throwing it around everywhere and get some paper, paper towel. And so we're gonna just stir it real quickly. We'll just go ahead and take one of those and stir it, and then it'll, your water will turn clear. And there you go. So now there's reef dip in there, and we're gonna grab our first coral here. First coral here is gonna be utter chaos pallies. One thing of note is really cool is they're kind of locked in there. I'm not sure how they're locked in there, but um, dump a little water out here. But yeah, they are uh, like stationary. So, oh, I see it. It's a clear plastic. You can't really see it, but when I take these out, you're gonna see a clear plastic. It's on a lip there, if you can see it. Uh, it's really, really cool. Okay, that's how the plug is in there. So it stays in there so it doesn't flip over. So that's really, really awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. These guys were open. Definitely gonna use these for 
for future acclimating or anything like that, or if I ever sell any coals and ship them, I could use it. So that's kind of cool too. So there you have it. You can see that's the Utter Chaos Pelly. Um, really nice piece. I am very, very happy with uh, these guys. Coral Kingdom with a K, K O R A L. Very affordable. Now, they, uh, you know, the thing with Coral Kingdom I noticed is, is they're in South, South Florida. Um, I'm in Idaho. Uh, but they came overnight for $40, so that's not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty typical FedEx overnight. The thing is, is um, these folks, uh, you know, I didn't get an email confirmation. And then the next day I tried to call them like three or four times and I couldn't get a hold of them. And I finally emailed them. And when I emailed them, I got an auto-generated response. But then in like 10, 15, 20 minutes, um, I got the guy Dan to... Uh, say hey you know what yeah your, your corals are going to go out today so i was pretty happy with that i was like okay awesome at least i've heard from him. didn't get a shipment notification nothing like that and of course once they arrived you know i'm so used to getting like um with tracking and all that like okay your shipment is on its way your shipments arrived didn't get any of that but that's okay because these corals um you know what hey they shipped they shipped well uh you can tell they're professionally uh packaged and they look great and let me tell you they were extremely affordable compared to everybody else and i did a lot of research to find uh, these these guys uh, because <clears throat> there are a lot of places online that sell corals and they're a lot more expensive and you don't get much. You get like a polyp, maybe two, something like that. And this is great. And I think only one of these was what you see is what you get. So let's go ahead and get to the next one. Um, I don't know. They're not they're not labeled, but I know when I put them in, I'll they're pretty di they're they're pretty different. Uh, I mean, you know, Rosses don't look anything like. These utter chaos, which don't look anything like um, your same thing with this. Another one of those containers, very cool. Putting them in the dip, dumping out their water. Of course, if you remember, never dump anybody's water. Hence, I mean, kind of would defeat the purpose of dipping, right? Uh, if you put someone else's water in your aquarium, because if there again, if there's any harmful organisms in there, they're going to go into your aquarium. And so we don't want that. This is the reason why we're going the extra step. So we're dumping out all their water. None of their water will make it into our show tank or any of our tanks for that matter. We do that with fresh water and salt water. Okay, so these guys... These hornets are awesome. And they have blue hornets, but I, you know what? I didn't pull the trigger. It's my fault. I, you know, I really like hornets because they're hard to find and I really wanted them. But, you know, that's okay. I'm sure they'll have more later on or I'll find them from, from somewhere else. But I like to go with the same places if I can, especially once I know they, they, ship, they ship good stuff. Um, this one, ooh, that almost stuck here. Now this one came a little different. This one came uh, because the wasn't on a plug, but it was on this uh, piece here, the frag. So uh, still okay, it's fine. That's how it came. Uh, two of them came that way. And again, multiple, multiple polyps there, which is great uh, because, like I said, when you buy these, and you'll see. I mean, I'm not going to discuss the prices, but they were a fraction of what you would normally pay. That's what I could say. So. Um, here's to you, Coral Kingdom, hopefully to your continued future business. This video could only help you out. And so there's the last one. That was, the, I think, the what you see, what you get. I'm going to throw that in there in the reef dip. Okay, so the clock is ticking now um, on this. We're going to probably keep them in there for 20 minutes, and then we're ready to go ahead and just take them out, as you saw. So when it did, as long as they stay wet, they're fine. Um, we can go ahead and just grab them out, and we'll place them in the aquarium. We'll get them to open up for you, and then we'll show you and tell you what is what, okay? Okay, so we just put in our three zoanthids and our pally, and we put them in the front for you, uh, but they just got in, so they should be opening up, and it looks like they're going to they're gonna start, okay? So we just put them in, and we'll... Okay, it's been just about an hour, and you can see that the um, this zoanthids and pallies that I got are in there. Um, they're slow to open up. I turned off the flow, as you can see. Um, just to go ahead and um, get these guys to open up. Plus, uh, we did treat them with the reef dip, so they're going to be slow to opening up. These are the Utter Chaos Pallies, so they're opening up. The Rosses are slow to open up for whatever reason. And these, these are the Hornets. The Hornets are opening up, so I'm happy about that. Uh, so we have the red hornet and the rainbow hornet. Um, and I believe this one right here is, this one over here is the red hornet. And then these right here should be 
the rainbow hornets. The one thing I wanted to comment on about the using the reef dip, uh, make sure you don't use reef dip in your main aquarium. Always use it in a separate container in case I didn't say that before. Um, uh, corals look really, really good, look really, really clean. And uh, I'll videotape them more as they come on out and uh, find um, better spaces to put them. I just put them in the front right now so I could videotape them for this video. Um, all right, folks. So I hope you liked this episode, uh, found it useful. Uh, if you did, please give us a like. And of course, if you want to see more uh, reefing videos and more just build an aquarium workshop, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.